I got really lucky pretty early on, and it's like, you know, I, I, I started doing sessions, and, you know, like, you know, sort of my, my first, you know, literally my, one of my first records was I played piano for Al Stewart, A Year of the Cat, Time Passages, that guy, yeah. and uh, I played piano for him, so like, you know, one of my first, my first records was like, you know, Al Stewart, and I was pretty lucky, and things went really, really well. I mean, I'd always, I'd always been into rock, you know, ever since I was a kid. I was always into the, you know, all sorts of, you know, it's, even though I started out as a keyboard player, because I started, that was my first your thing. first instrument. And, but I was like a rock keyboard player who then discovered like jazz and classical and so, I started out more of as a rock keyboard player, but then all of a sudden I saw all these other things, and you know, like I said, I, you know, I just love the diversity, and I just love to be able to, you know, uh, try my hand at just about everything I can think of, and so um, I've always just had a natural, you know, affinity for for rock and understanding what needs to happen in a rock record, you know, because that. That's always been my theory about the, the most important thing about a, you know, to, to the producer is, is a producer needs to understand what it is the audience needs from the music, you know. So if I'm doing, if I'm working with, you know, from Tracy Chapman to, you know, to Cheryl Crow to Sabbath to Manson or Saliva, whoever doesn't, you know, it's that so long as I understand what needs to come out of the music so the audience can then uh, get the visceral, you know, feeling, the connection, the emotional aspect. And that's the one thing that I've always been able to have a pretty good handle on in, in whatever genre or, you know, uh, whatever you can think of. That, that was always the deal is that I, you know, that I understood exactly what it was that needed to come out of it. So uh, that's what allowed me to, you know, have a pretty good handle on rock. Is that even though it wouldn't, you know, sometimes necessarily be my first. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I I, I love heavy music, but um, like I said, I just for me, it's all about the diversity. But I do understand what an audience wants from a heavy record, you know, and that's I, I think you know knock on wood it's allowed to have me you know allowed me to have success in, in in that in that world the one thing that i've always done as a producer is is i've always understood that this is that person's artistic life that's the most important thing in their life is that is their artistic you know endeavor that they're have to step into so that's why i really I treat it with such reverence and, and you know, I, I, um, but that's what makes it valuable to me. Because this isn't, you know, my job isn't fun unless it's valuable to me emotionally. Otherwise, I'm detached and I don't care, you know. And that's, I don't dig that. I'm, I'm you know, I, I love to be emotionally involved. That's, you know, that's fun for me anyway. One of my, uh, Strong suits is, is definitely the passion. I, I I still absolutely love what I do, and I just you know I'm uh, I literally still go to bed dreaming of gear and you know and you know the record that I'm about to do. That's the the beauty of what we do. It's the it's the sort of lore of the whole thing that where you you know it's like wow what a, what a you know the the history and the you know. Uh, just the grand nature of all this stuff is pretty cool because you know I'm pretty I'm pretty laid back by nature and certain records there you know that are like that where I'm uh, where I'm given a kind of a you know just a let's go 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 make the record go have fun we'll see you when it's done and then there's other records that are completely you know sort of uh, uh, scrutinized every moment you know. <laughs> 
I, I tend, you know, and it, and it's listen. It's, it's no offense to the guys that scrutinize, because I think that's you know that can be very valuable. But I tend to operate a little bit better when I'm kind of left to my own devices, because it just allows me to get really creative with the band and create a, a, a an environment, you know, with the band where everybody, you know internally can just feel really good and comfortable about the process so there's not a lot of outside forces pulling on stuff because preconceived you know yeah i mean because strangely enough most bands are you know the the divide between record company and and bands which you know which has been sort of notorious since the beginning of time you know um i generally find that those those, you know, ever actually had a band say that to me. So then that just means it's a language barrier. But once everybody starts to figure that out, then it, uh, it's, it, it, you know, again, that's one of the, the things that I, as a producer, I really like to do is have that. Don't, don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to enjoy this whole thing. It's actually a lot of fun. Grateful. That's my other key. I've been grateful. I'm so grateful for what I have. I appreciate it. I never forget it. Not a day that I wake up that I'm...